Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, yeah, so you folks, sampler platter video series of videos I've been doing for the while now. I go over the trout food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I went to a gas station and found some hostess shit. But we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, yes, indeed, folks. It's a super simple format. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. In this case, it's 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 hostess stuff. I just mentioned that. but uh, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try the stuff, the hostess stuff, as it were. And I'm going to go over there and I'm going to talk about, you know, the eating experience and the flavors and all that stuff of the hostess stuff. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm inside the truck. I'm also wearing my grody work clothes. Typically, when those two things coincide, these are especially grody work clothes. Hooray! Uh, that typically means that I was on my way home from work. I found some shit to review. That is definitely the case today, folks. So what am I reviewing for y'all? You already know it's from Hostess. Well, folks, the first of the things that we're doing is boom! It is Hostess Limited Edition Carrot Cake. Ha 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 ha! It's not, it's awkward. It'll be hard to do a good thumbnail. <laughs> but yes, it's uh, it's little carrot cake donuts. I've reviewed plenty of Hostess stuff over the years. Like, they're great for this stuff because they always come out with seasonal crap. So, let's give them a shot, folks. I like carrot cake. I'm a big fan of carrot cake. It's one of the few cakes that I actually like I'm really down with. So, I'm hopeful, folks. Don't let me down, hostess. Donut! Many immediate problems is that you're not going to get that delicious cream cheese frosting. But, you know, we make do. Um, it's pretty good. I think they sprinkled a little coconut on it, which I'm not huge on. It's not abrasive, but I don't think it needs to be there. Because uh, I'm definitely, if it's not coconut, I'm getting something similar to coconut taste. Uh, I'm not a huge coconut guy. Especially like the dried stuff. Um, it's okay. I like it. It's flavorful. I'll give it that much for sure. I don't know, man. I, there's kind of a carrot cake aspect to it, but it's just... I mean, it's not properly moist like a carrot cake. Like I said, you're not getting the, the cream cheese frosting, which I, I personally feel is fairly essential. Uh, the makeup of it does taste somewhat similar, but it's when you don't have the same texture, it doesn't carry the same type of flavor on your tongue. Yeah, they're they're okay, but Yeah, I feel like there's a little, like a, a little sprinkling of uh, of dried coconut. Not a lot, but I think they kind of use that to maybe emulate the cream cheese frosting to a certain extent. Or at the very least to give it a contrast to the carrot cake flavor. Um, it's not horrendous or anything. Like, it's, it's perfectly live withable for me, but I don't... For me, I didn't need it to be there. I mean, maybe it does make it taste better. I obviously only have this to go off of, but uh, being that I'm, like I said, I'm just not a big coconut guy, it's it's very faint, but it's you get it every so often, and I, I don't I don't personally dig it all that much. Um, yeah, they're very okay. I like I said, I don't. Not too long ago, I did a review of some. I forget what the company was, but it was some like third brand company place, uh, you know, not Little Debbie, not Hostess, 
and maybe it was Bon Appetit. That sounds right. And they had like some blueberry uh, cheesecake, like mini donuts. And go watch that review if you're interested. But those were not particularly to my liking. <laughs> These are substantially better than that. These are actually pretty tasty overall. My biggest gripe is that I don't feel like they're that evocative of carrot cake. Like, they might have a similar makeup, but again, it's it's lacking the texture, it's lacking the cream cheese, and, and then they sort of substituted that with other flavors that I don't associate with carrot cake. So, yeah. It, again, it's way better than those freaking uh, Bon Appetit ones. You know, it's Hostess. They, they typically do a good job. There's no, like, funky aftertaste or anything like that. Uh, but at the same time, when you're... As soon as you go over there and you label something with a specific flavor profile, you're walking a potentially perilous path. Because... Potentially perilous path. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. Uh, but because at the end of the day, now you're creating greater expectations. And for me, I don't feel like these really even met like what I would consider my minimum expectations for it to be called really carrot cake. It's good. I don't, that's absolutely coconut. I just bit into like a little singular piece. It has that dried coconut texture and you can taste it. So yeah, there's coconut on it. I, it's good. It's flavorful. I don't, my biggest gripe with it, my two biggest gripes are that I don't feel that it particularly tastes like uh, carrot cake, and I don't feel like the coconut was necessary. Those are just my personal takeaways. But, two questions I have to be asked. Would I get them again? Would I recommend them? No, and kind of. For me, like, you can get, like, little small pieces of carrot cake, you know, from, like, most gas stations and stuff. If I want something carrot cake flavored, I can get something carrot cake flavored. I, I don't really need these to be involved. Plus, you're not getting any nuts or any raisins, depending on how you make your carrot cake. Yeah, man, I just, I don't know, man. I, it, they're obviously trying to create a facsimile of that experience. It just doesn't work for me personally. Uh, but as for recommending it, I think they're not bad. It's just go into it with reasonable expectations. If you want something that's carrot cake flavored, I don't think that really fits the bill. But if it, you just want something that's, you know, a pretty tasty little donut, does its thing, and it has a little hint of coconut, there you go. I think it works perfectly fine in that regard. For me, I just, I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it in my life. I'll finish it. You know, clearly, but. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of week. Monumental rest of month. Stupendous rest of your And folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly... <sighs> Carrot cake tastic rest of your life. And I'm talking like the real deal, folks. Okay, I'm talking the ones they used to have in the display cases over at Baker Square. Oh, yeah. They have a little carrot design and everything. When I was a lad, so very long ago, that was one of my favorite spots to go, man. Me and the family would go to Baker Square, go over there, and I'd always see that carrot cake, man. And I, I knew carrots were good because Bugs Bunny loved carrots, and Bugs Bunny wouldn't lie. I mean, he did. Carrots are, they're fine in certain things, but, like, you don't want to just chomp on a carrot. That's not a good plan. Um, but, man, and the first time I got to have it, like, I was like, I was like, this is it. I like this a lot. So, good memories, folks. Uh, I think it's a little bit sad because we had a favorite waitress who we used to get all the time, and then... One day she just wasn't around anymore, and you know she was, you know, young. She was like in college, you know. Uh, you know she moved on, greater pastures and stuff. No, it turned out that uh, she'd been uh, hit by a drunk driver and died. Man, that was a fucked up day. Like the whole fucking family was brought down by that. We liked her so much. Anyway, this went weird. Sorry. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity to your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But. We do can't do all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, it's not always the easiest thing to do in the world, especially when you have donuts that are, you know, masquerading as carrot cake, and then they're not really carrot cake. But it's important when we find ourselves in stressful situations, situations that are frustrating, asshole-inducing situations, 
take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholes in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, normally I come up with like a wacky scenario and be like, wacky stuff. But in, in lieu of, you know, drumming up old memories, uh, you know, just uh, take care of the people you love. Please don't drink and drive. You know, one bad decision could ruin not only your life, but the lives of, you know, other people around you. Just be responsible, please, you know. And if you happen to have a Baker Square anywhere around you, maybe pop in for me. Just get some Baker Square food. I haven't been to a Baker Square in a very long time because there's not many around. Are they all gone? No, they might be all gone now. Bye!